Hello, I'm Pennsylvania's First Lady, Frances Wolfe. Today, I'm so glad to be able to share a story with you. I will be reading Ruby Finds a Worry by Tom Percival. It's a story about a little girl named Ruby who is worried. Do you worry sometimes? You're not alone. We all do from time to time. After we read about Ruby, we will share some ideas about what we can do when we're feeling worried. Let's get started. Ruby Finds a Worry by Tom Percival. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved to swing up high. And she loved to explore wild, faraway places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the very bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day she discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. In fact, it was so small that at first Ruby hardly noticed it. But then the worry started to grow and each day it got a little bit bigger. It just wouldn't leave her alone. It was there at breakfast, staring at her over the cereal box. And it was still there at night when she brushed her teeth. The funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry, not even her teacher. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either. She tried to carry on as if everything was normal, but it just wasn't. The worry was always there, stopping her from doing the things that she loved. Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby didn't realize it, but she was doing the worst thing you could ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it. And now the worry was enormous. It could barely fit in the kitchen at dinner time, and it filled up half the school bus. And it took up whole rows at the movie theater. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about, and it seemed like she would never feel happy again. Then one day, something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park, and he looked how she felt, sad. And then she noticed something else, something hovering next to him. Could it be a worry? It was. Ruby realized that she wasn't the only person with a worry after all. Other people had them too. She asked the boy what was on his mind. As he told her, the strangest thing happened. His worry began to shrink. Then Ruby did the best thing you can ever do if you have a worry. She talked about it. As the words tumbled out, Ruby's worry began to shrink until it was barely there at all. Soon, both of their worries were gone. And finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Of course, that wasn't the last time she ever had a worry because everyone gets them from time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them, they never hung around for very long. Wow, Ruby's worry really got big. When you have worries like Ruby, talking about them and asking questions to grown-ups around you can really help. Talking about something scary out loud can make it feel a little better. One thing I was worried about at first was wearing masks when we leave our homes to go grocery shopping or to go to work. 
What would the masks look like? Would they look scary? And why did we need to wear them? I was able to talk about my worries with my friend, Dr. Levine. And Dr. Levine was able to join us today. Hello, everyone. I am so happy to be with you all today. I heard that you were talking about worries and how we can get rid of them. Like First Lady Wolf said, you can talk to a grown-up like me whenever you have a worry because we are here to help you understand them. I'm a doctor. Actually, I'm a pediatrician, which means that I'm a doctor for kids. And my job is to share information with you that keeps you healthy and safe. So when people have worries about their health, they talk to me. I remind them to wash their hands, cough into their elbows, and wear masks when they leave home so they don't share their germs with other people. Can you show our friends your mask, First Lady Wolf? Yes, I can. Here is my mask. It's a red one. It's something I made at home. Remember to share your worries with a grown-up because they are there to help you and to keep you safe. I enjoyed reading together, Pennsylvania. Thank you, and we will see you soon. Bye.